everyone. How are you? Last time we met a cat. Aren't you wondering who will appear today? I will make a sound again. Tweet 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 tweet. Wow, yes, that's right. Birds. So let's go on a story with a bird today. The girl looked up in the blue sky and the clouds were moving slowly by. The sky was like a clear sea. It seemed to disappear far into the sky. Then a little bird came down from the sky. And the bird told the girl, In the sky, I watched you. Then she asked, How? And the bird replied, Wait a moment, and I'll be back soon and went up to the sky again. Yes, this time the bird came down from the sky. I really like birds. Shall we draw a bird with the feeling of flying in the sky? Let's draw a bird high in the blue. Please draw the face as a circle first. And then I'll draw the face as a round circle and I'll draw the body longer on its side. It's a bit like the cat, right? And draw an oval to the side and then I'll try to draw a beak. Bird's mouths are pointed forward like this. And when I draw it like this, it becomes a beak. And I'll try to draw the eyes. How about drawing smiling eyes and mark the eyebrows like this? You can choose whether you draw the pupils or not. And then I'll draw the wings. Draw the wings with a curve. Draw this side of the wing convexly and the same as other wings. Draw this wing convexly and the same on the other wing. And then I'll draw a tail. If you draw small, convex lines on the side, the tail is complete. Yes, and how about dividing it here? So, let me draw more convex lines on the bird's wings. Now I have drawn the bird. Next I'll try to draw a cloud in the sky. I'll draw long clouds and small clouds and try to draw circular clouds and various shapes of clouds. And everyone, can we see the wind with our eyes? No, we cannot see it. But things that cannot be seen can be expressed through pictures. So let me try to express the wind like this. Express how the wind blows down by drawing in circles. Oh, it feels like the wind is blowing over here. And I'll try it again. If you draw it long like this, do you feel like the wind is blowing stronger here? Yes, this 
could be a weak little wind here. If you want the wind to be stronger, please draw the lines bigger and longer. There, I've drawn the wind. And here, to show a bird flying high above the sky. I'll try to draw a mountain down below like this. There is a high mountain, and there is a little low mountain and a higher mountain. Yes, and if we draw the mountain like this, it feels like the bird flies higher than the mountain. There, and I'll color the bird first. I want to paint the bird's face yellow. Wow, the bird has a yellow face. It's so pretty, isn't it? And I'm going to paint its body yellow too. I will not paint all of this, but I'll paint it here and there. Color in orange next to the yellow wing. And also color in between. And at the end. Then I'll color in the tail. Yes, and I'll color the beak red. So shall we color in the beak like this too? Please color the feathers red in this way. There are so many feathers on birds. I think this bird is feeling much better now. Everyone, please color nicely so the bird can enjoy it. Then the bird will be very happy. Yes, and I will color this blue. nice together with red, don't you think? And over here, I'll color this blue. There, the bird has been colored. There's a bright feeling here. And I colored this side a little darker. It's so wonderful, even if there is brightness and darkness together. Now, next are the clouds. Just like I drew the streams of water in the fountain with a white crayon last time, I want to draw the clouds with a white crayon this time too. In this way, I will draw the clouds with circles. Please fill in the clouds. Can you see the white now? Yes, that's right. We cannot see the white right now, but it will appear very nicely again later in just a little while. Yes, and now I will try to color it in with paint. I will put the water in this container and in the same way, dip the brush into the water and mix it in the water. Okay, where do you want to paint now? I'll paint the mountain from the bottom. Let me paint the mountain green. And let the paint dissolve on the palette. And I'll try to paint the mountain. Now we should 
clean the green off the brush, right? So please wash your brush by tapping it, tap, tap, tap in the water. After I wash it clean, I will paint the sky. This time, I'll paint a little violet in the sky. Last time I painted the sky blue, but this time I will try to show it is violet. Yes, just like this. Wow! Look, a while ago we drew with that white color and it showed up. Amazing, isn't it everyone? We couldn't see the white before. This white crayon does not show up on the white paper, but... If you apply paint over it, you can see the white color is unchanged. So please show this beautiful purple sky. If there's not enough water, get some more water again. It's like... The clouds are alive! It's even more wonderful! The bird seems to be enjoying it too. Yes! Just like this with a brush. So like this, keep painting. on the side of the mountains a bit. Yay! It's all done, everyone! Yes! How was your class today? I would really like to be a bird because I want to fly in the sky. Although we cannot really fly in the sky, we can have the feeling of flying by drawing a bird. You can imagine the birds like this and have the feeling of flying in the sky. So then let's meet again next time. Goodbye.